Hello, today I'm going to teach you how to make a difficulty chart hobby with checkpoints, data saving, skip stage and more in Roblox Studio so you can earn Robux from your new game. So the first thing you need to do is go to the top link in the description which will take you to my hobby kit which is called Squid's Hobby Kit and you need to make sure to get this so it's available in your inventory, there should be a get button and once you've done that, if you go back to Roblox Studio you can go to the view tab at the top and then open the toolbox then once you're here, go over to the My Models tab and then find Squid's Hobby Kit somewhere here Then if this comes up, just click OK and then you can close out the toolbox so once it's inserted, you need to put everything in their correct places so if you open the model up in Explorer and then double click the README file so it says we need to put the stage script and temp stage script in service script service so if you open up scripts and move the stage script and temp stage script into service script service and then if we move the character stage twin script stage picker and skip stage all into start GUI and then we need to put the checkpoints folder in the workspace and there you go, we're done with that. You can click delete on the obby pack there. And as you can see, we've got the GUIs here and we've got the checkpoints. So, now you've done this, what you first need to do is open up the game settings. Go down to avatar and make sure the avatar type is R6. Because this makes sure our checkpoints will work because when they move the carriage, they move an R6 part. So if you click save and then yes, but then another setting we also need to change if you go back to game settings and then to security it enables studio access to API services so we can save data whilst in studio for testing so then click save on that again and there you go that should be all done so now you can either build an obby or move these checkpoints to the different places in your obby so I'm going to make a quick obstacle course to show you how it works So I've made two very simple stages there, but you might be wondering what you do when you get to the third checkpoint. Well, all you have to do is just duplicate the checkpoint, so you can right click and click duplicate. And then if you go over to the properties tab, and change the name to the number of the checkpoint, and then you can carry on building stages. So, then we need to get the skip stage to work. So to do that, we need to make a developer product. To make a developer product, you need to go to the Roblox website, and find your games page. So how you do that? Let's go to the Roblox develop page. If you're on the home page, click create. Now once that's loaded, you should be able to find it under my creations. But if you've made it under a group, click on group creations and choose your group. But then once you've found it, you can click on this cog here and click configure experience. Then once you're here, if you go down to developer products and you can click create new. Now once you're here, you can call it skip stage or whatever you'd like to call it. You can go to description if you'd like, and then you need to give it a price. So I'm going to make mine 35 Robux. Then click create. And uh, now we've created it, you need to copy this ID number here. So if you highlight it and right click, then click copy. And there you go, once you've done that, you can go back to Roblox Studio. And now you're here. You can go to skip stage, and under start a GUI, open up the text button, and double click on the prompt script. Now once you're in here, replace this zero at the top with the number you just copied and then close that and then go up to stage script in source script service and do exactly the same again. There you go, now you can close out of that and we can test our game. Uh, as you can see now we've loaded in and I've already got the second checkpoint so if I go to the third checkpoint you'll see that I get the next checkpoint and I can move between them uh, and then if I want to get to the last checkpoint but I find the stage far too hard I click the skip stage button and then click skip stage and it'll take me to the next stage and you will earn robux but if you're already on the last stage you can click skip stage it'll say max stage so they can't get to stages that don't exist
So there you go. If you enjoyed, thanks for watching. Uh, subscribe for more stuff. And goodbye.